That is my hand. Got some stuff to talk about. Laced I've ever been. Gonna do my flex of the day. Yeah, um, 145 point six I think which is crazy to say that now that's not like my resting weight right like I know if I were to eat normally that I'd probably be sitting at about 148. But still, that's my latest recorded, and that officially marks 20 pounds down, which is fucking insane. That is crazy. 15 was something, right? Like, I hit 150. And what that meant to me was, yeah, like, for as, as long as I can remember, 150 is as, is as light as I've been since like fifth grade, right? So even as I got taller, I still weighed around 150 and then I started to gain a bit more weight. Um, so 15 pounds, I was like, I'm back there. But 20 pounds just sounds like a big number, even though it doesn't like feel that different, but I look different, you know, all that. And you know, you know, with that, I've been I've been hungrier, obviously, because if you want to lose weight, you can't just eat exactly what you want to a degree. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I'm hungry. I'm like, I'm not going to eat. But I smell food. Uh, it was, like, pretty late. It was, like, 9. I was like, I hope my grandma didn't cook me anything. But, I mean, if she did, I would fucking tear into it. Should I? No. But, you know, if she did, then sure. So I went out there, and she's cooking, she was, and she was like, you want some? I was like, no. I was like, is it for you? Because she was cooking like, um, like a burger, but it was more like on bread that she um, was frying. It wasn't just like normal bread. So, it's like a grilled, uh, ground beef and cheese or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, no, um, and, you know, there's been times where she, it's just, it really annoys me um, because I'm going about it very healthily because I care about my health. But, you know, she sees people who try and lose weight and, you know, she just has a very media-oriented sense of things. She's like, you're going to eat this for I'm like, I'm being, I'm being healthy about it and being safe about it, and I care most about my health. That's why I haven't tried to lose the weight since I've had this weight. One, because I didn't know. But two, because the ways I could have went about it, um, you know, it's just something not so safe to mess with. There was always something that's kind of scary to venture in. But, you know, then I just started doing it on accident, and it kept working, so I kept doing it. And, um, yeah, I've still been very safe about it. You know, but she, um, she thinks... I'm like stupid and I'm gonna keep losing weight and losing weight and losing weight until I'm like fucking bones. It's not the weight, it's the fat. Like, I'm I'm not an idiot, right? You just don't get it. It's not like, oh, I'm young, I think I know everything. That's what she likes to pull, that's the card that she likes to pull on me all the time. You're young, yada, yada, yada. Even when it doesn't matter how fucking young I am, I'm still gonna stand behind what I think. And I'm not just thinking it because I'm young. Right? You know, I'd be like, uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, I would have to give you individual situations, but I tell you, can I not have an opinion? You know, can I not think, think certain things? And then, you know, when you don't want to hear what I'm saying, you're like, oh, you're young. You don't get it. Like, no. Being very safe about it. I want to be leaner. Okay? I'm not a fucking idiot. Um,. Just annoying. Uh, I talked more about that than I wanted to. But I guess we're doing a question of the days now. Um, 
And also, I put a community post out. Because I forget that those are a thing. Um, I posted one in the past, and I posted another one today. Feel free to answer either of those, because they're just questions. Um, but my question for this video is... I also try and relate it to something that happened that I'm going to end up talking about. Um, what's an interesting hobby you have? Not, not exactly a hobby, but an interesting skill you have. Because um, my friend was like doing a Rubik's, he was at a Rubik's Cube event um, today. And apparently he was with a ton of young kids and they were all like pretty good. Right, he apparently he was the oldest person there and he's 19. So, yeah. So that's, uh, that's something, you know, he's pretty good at it. He, uh, tried to, I mean, he helped me solve it, but, you know, I can't do it on my own yet. I'd love to be able to, like, be able to do it whenever I want, you know, like, learn even further. You know, one day, but would I ever go pro with it like he's kind of doing? No. Um, but yeah, he got... He made it to the finals on one of them, and um, he got like last place in it. So he got like 12th place overall. Still very good, um, but you know, I would have liked it if he did better. Um, me and his girlfriend were like stalking it, stalking him doing it for a little bit. Cause originally I'm friends with his girlfriend. You know, that's how I met him. So I'd say he's more of a friend of a friend, like. I can't really just like talk when we're on our own I can't really just like talk to him like that um I talk to his girlfriend right frequently and you know if you know we call the group chat uh or like if I call it you know you know the one thing I'm grateful for are um I got a ton of lower back pain. I gotta get fixed. Um, I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for insulation because it allows me to be warm, right? Like we'll talk about like wall insulation, like in the walls, stuff to keep the house warm grateful for that you know it'd still be cold without the heating in winter and it would still be warm without the air conditioning in summer but insulation still helps and uh, it's very important to have you know because my feet are cold right now uh, this is one of the last things I gotta do I'm gonna fucking hop in bed do some reading uh, and then yeah I'll get the rest and what was my favorite thing of the day? Although, I don't know if you guys can see it. My girlfriend was most of these. Oh shit, hold on. January fell down. My girlfriend still was most of these. Um, yeah, this like kinda got messed up at the top, so it's probably gonna fall down a lot. My girlfriend had a good streak going till recently. Um, and she, I haven't talked to her at all today, um, and I'll get into that. So it wasn't her. My favorite thing probably. I don't like to be, I don't like to have lazy days, but that's what I wrote if you can't see it. Um, I wasn't very productive yesterday because I woke up late and you know, just like a ton of stupid ass shit, but you know, I had a vision for the day and it didn't quite go according to plan. Same with today, you know, partially because yeah, I woke up late and I started my shit late, you know, and I got caught up with certain friends because I had more time to talk with them today because my girlfriend wasn't around. Not that she stops me, like she, she doesn't prevent me. I just like to, you know, I like to spend more of my time with her. So, you know, I've been spending less time with my friends. Um, 
still trying to give him time though, but you know. <clears throat> so yeah, today wasn't the most productive either, but I still got everything done. I just could have done more. I'll wake up on time tomorrow if I actually go to sleep when I want to. Because I still ended up going to sleep late yesterday. Um, off some bullshit. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to be able to go to sleep early today. And, you know, even today, I mean, I'm not going to be able to. Um, I wouldn't even be able to because it's been like, it's like 10.40 right now and I woke up at like 10.40. 10.20. So it's going to be hard to fall asleep. I'll probably have to take some... Um, I don't even want to take melatonin. I don't know. If I can't sleep, I don't... I don't know. But I'll wake up at 8 when I'm supposed to. And yeah, so my girlfriend is at a sleepover. She's been there since like middle of the day yesterday. Which, uh, you know, it's fine. And honestly, I've enjoyed having one of my OG days. It's like one of my OG days. Before I start talking to my girlfriend, all my days would look like this. But they'd be a lot more productive. And, you know, I'd have a lot more free time. And what I would do with that free time is I'd be productive. Now I know what I have to get done in a day, as I did then. And I'm able to get all that stuff done most of the time. But, you know, then the rest of my time just goes to my girlfriend because that's what I choose to use it for. But, you know, I miss having days like this. Uh, it's like I just feel free. So who knows? I might uh, take some more in the future, even if my girlfriend is available. But, yeah, um... I don't have any contact with my girlfriend when she's not at her house because we are long distance, right? So I talked to her through her Xbox. She has a phone, but you know, I guess we're a gaming, we're a gaming couple, okay? Um, she has a phone. To my understanding, she doesn't use it much, right? Through the entirety of our relationship, she sent me a snap like once um but you know she only sent it because her internet was out so you know she was on her phone then um which i trust her and even if i don't trust her um you know let's say she does use her phone all the time she does sneaky stuff on it which i don't think she does um then so be it i mean move on but again, I'm not saying she is. Uh, I'm not saying I wish she does. But you know, I trust her. But, you know, zero way of contacting her. Zero. Like, so she's at a sleepover right now. Um, if I wanted to say hi, I wanted to get a response. If I wanted to say, or are you? I'm worried for you. Not that I would. I wouldn't get a response if I wanted to say, I'm dying. These are my final words. Wouldn't get a response. Uh, and she wouldn't know until she got home. Not that she wouldn't be responding. She just wouldn't know. Um, which, I mean, it is what it is. You know, again. Jesus Christ. I just heard like scuttling. Some on my roof. I don't know. We've had mice around the house before. I'm not trying to like get bit or be on the same fucking level as them because there's a little step over here so that I might be able to see the mouse coming to me. That's besides the point. Just don't have any communication. Again, it is what it is. I, we still haven't like properly addressed anything after the things I said a few days ago. She, again, she seemed normal. Um, she probably was normal, but I still want to touch base. Um, but yeah, so my friend I was talking to today, the friend I was talking about earlier, whose boyfriend did the Ruby's Cube thingy, 
Um, so she's been going through some stuff. Um, she's in a situation that I used to be in where she doesn't really have a purpose um, and she kind of just gets led around by other people. She chooses to, and that's how I was at one point. You know, I'd wake up, I would do the things I would have to do. I had to go to school. I didn't want to go to school or be good at school or anything. I did it because I had to. I'd get home, I'd talk to my friends, even though they didn't have that same level towards me. Right, it's just because of how I grew up. It just ended up being what I did. And I had that sort of attachment. And when I lost that, you know, it was just me. And I had to find stuff that I cared to keep around. And I started doing Duolingo. I started doing all these little things to improve myself. And that became my purpose. I'd wake up and I would do that every day. And I started expecting more, you know. And I started wanting to be a bit better at high school. Kind of try. Um... Now I'm in college, you know, I want to be better. Like my, my aspirations are the highest they've ever been because I found what I want to be and what I want to do and the purpose I have, you know, um, I want to have a family one day. I know all these, like all these things are established for me and she's been through similar things where, you know, your friends just up and leave, you're alone. Apparently it's happened to her a few times and right now she feels like you know, because we're out of high school. I didn't know her in high school, but we're the same age. Went to high school at the same time. Not in the same school, though. Um, where, you know, this is kind of it. You know, especially once you're out of college, you kind of just, who you know is, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's harder to just find people. The, your people for the most part should be established I'm not saying there's cases where people don't have that established and they can't make more friends later on but these are the social parts years of your life and she finds that you know everyone around her all her friends including me you know because I I have my own things to do I'll, that's why it's kind of why I'm friends with her because she would always reach out she finds that it's always her she worded it chasing and you know her reaching out and then people not having that you know they're busier or they're up with something while well, she isn't and I can resonate with that you know but I, I feel like she and I've kind of had this problem with women not to be sexist but this is kind of how it is I don't hear these problems from men um if I did I feel like they would do it but it's typically women I hear this from. It's only ever been women that I really like hear some of these things from, um, like feeling inadequate, but you know, that I give them proper solutions, but I think they're just there to vent. But I think she could, but she's not going to. Like she just really has that group mentality. She's just a people person. So am I, but I used to really be a big people pleaser, right? I still kind of am, but I just have my own identity. She doesn't have her identity. She has, she specifically said, I feel like I don't have a purpose. Or I don't have a purpose. Because she doesn't. She needs to find it. You know, I kind of told her some of what I just said. But, you know, she was just more in a venting kind of mood. I've talked to her about her problems before. She's always in a venting kind of mood. It's exactly how I used to be, you know, having motivation but motivate when motivation doesn't last you always have what you can fall back on the life you have you can go back to chasing and go back to that i didn't have that so you know it really just clicked for me and then the motivation stuck you know and i kept at it and it became more than motivation even when motivation ran out is just discipline and it was ingrained in my life she still has stuff to fall back on she might find it one day but you know she's said certain things where it's like i don't know if i want to live but those things those thoughts it seems like are more momentary like there's times when she overthinks and she's like i don't want to live anymore i'm not saying i don't take that seriously 
you know, I've had serious talks where I'm like, no one wants you to, like, she just overthinks a lot, and that comes out. It's not always present, but it comes out in times when she, she even acknowledges that when she overthinks that these tend to come out. She just has too much attachment to her current life, and that's not going to change. I said, you think too much inside the box, and that's the problem that I find everyone has. People think of their problems, or like what's wrong in their life, and they try and solve it by means of what they know, right? Within the same friend groups, you know, within the same environments. But you're not, you could, but it's harder to find it unless you are in a completely foreign place and you have to do something else in order to survive, I find. For me, doing what I used to do didn't give the same effect. I couldn't just play games. I didn't have the same friends to play with. I, What I found enjoyable wasn't enjoyable anymore. You know, and I was just bitter. So, you know, all these things came together. And, you know, but that was all a different environment. She still has stuff to fall back on. She feels like this momentarily, but she even, she even acknowledged this again. She's like, I'm probably still going to end up going back to chasing all that. Because just the life she's known, but, you know, just people thinking inside the box is uh, never necessarily good. You know, people associate too much with where they come from. That's kind of how people have to be sometimes. There's some things you can't let go of. Your family, you know, can't just change everything. That's something that never changed for me my family. Um, but you have to find your identity, and she doesn't have it. Speaking of her and my girlfriend, which I was talking about earlier, um, I think because, because she was talking a bit about, you know, how people, she's been chasing everybody else, and, you know, she talks to her boyfriend, she talks to me, you know, and she said there's like four people total, so half her dudes, half her women, she's like, I've been getting too much testosterone, you know, I need more like estrogen kind of energy, and before she said that, she was like, um, let me talk to Katie, or I want to talk to Katie, I accidentally just said her name, I've said her name before, but you know, I don't always try to, you know, but let me talk to Katie, or, I, she said I want to, and I was like, do you want to, and then, um, yeah, so I gave her some contact she get her from, and for the time being, she's also long distance with her boyfriend, because her boyfriend um, who I was talking about, the Ruby's Q player, is a very busy man. He's always working. He said he, he was, like, dead tired from the Ruby's Cube event. He said he's going to work till 3 a.m. after that. This motherfucker's going to be fucking, probably woke up earlier than me and going to sleep later than me. You know, he's way busier than I am. But he doesn't prioritize his health. That's the difference between me and him. He's also probably a hard worker, harder worker. Like, I'm just going to admit, he's definitely a harder worker. And he has a broader horizon of what he's willing to do and what he's good at. I'm not saying I couldn't venture down it, but you know, he lives a freelancer life and that's, uh, that'd be very hard for me to do. I'm not saying I couldn't do it, it it'd be hard to get into. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, apparently uh, my friend wants to meet my girlfriend. She's talked to her like a few sentences before, but and then apparently her boyfriend's gonna join. So I was like, yeah, we could do a little online double date as, you know, for fun I said that. I didn't think it was gonna be serious. I thought she was gonna be like, yeah, right. But, you know, apparently she was serious, so yay. You know, it's kind of exciting. I made a video before where, you know, I was like, my best friend meets my girlfriend. And, yeah, that was interesting. That was my best friend, though. Um, who I've known for years and years and years, but this will be this will be different. And um, I think there's something else I wanted to say. Planks suck, um, but that's not what I wanted to say. There's definitely something else I wanted to say, and I forgot now. I didn't write it down. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to finish up sooner then. I mean, not that this isn't a long video. It's probably like 25 minutes. I've been making a ton of 30-minute videos, which has got to stop. 
20 minutes is like around where it should be maybe a bit later anything past like 25 is like a bit excessive like I probably didn't need to talk that much um, I mean it, it definitely depends I've had 40 minute videos because there's just bigger topics well a 40 minute video and um, yeah what am I going to throw out today I don't know This is what I'm going to throw out. And I know I've had this since at least 5th grade. It says Travis's keep out. My grandpa gave this to me when he was in Florida. And uh, I like to smell things, okay? Um, so you're going to be like, why is he smelling that when you see it? Okay, just to let you know, uh, trigger warning. This is like a the skeleton of like a little baby lizard thing so if you don't want to look i'll tell you when you can look okay look away now yeah it's um a lizard and one story i probably shouldn't be touching it don't you can't look yet um there was this okay i'll put it away now wait just don't look don't look don't look okay you can't you're good you're good um there was this kid, I won't give out his um, full name, but his name was Michael. Um, and I, he was in my fifth grade class and he, everyone knew him because he would put ranch on everything. I, n I had never even had ranch back then. I tried ranch like within the first, like a few years ago, honestly. Um, I just didn't really get dips and it was kind of like foreign so I didn't try and venture in it. He would put ranch on everything. He'd put ranch on his pizza He'd put ranch on cheese sticks. He'd mix ketchup in the ranch and eat it with the cheese stick. He'd put ranch on everything. You know, and he was a bigger kid, right? So he liked to eat. So he had also gotten me KFC one day for whatever reason. He just said he would. So he brought me a whole fucking bucket of KFC chicken. I don't know why. I, like, But he said he would for some reason, and he did. And he gave me the whole bucket. But it, it had bones in it. I had never gotten like chicken with bones in it, so it was kinda like weird and but I love chicken, so I still try to eat it regardless, but it was kinda scary. And I tried to keep one of the chicken bones, but I don't even know what happened to it. Um yeah, so this lizard which I'm not gonna open. I ripped part of the tail off and I said I'll, I think I said I'll give you five dollars if you eat it. And he was like, sure. And we put it in his mouth. And I think he made like the swallowing, like he made the action of swallowing. But bro, I literally saw him like, <laughs> like fucking spit it out and like put it somewhere. Like, <laughs> like he like wiped it off. <laughs> like I wasn't fucking staring straight at him. And I was like, bro, you just fucking spit it out. I was like, no, I didn't. Like, bro, you're not getting the $5 just because you didn't fucking even eat the little tiny part of the lizard tail that I ripped off. Yeah, my grandpa gave this to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's such a stupid story. Um, but I don't need this anymore. It's kind of like a ring box. Not that I would use it as a ring box. Because, yeah. Throw this out. Song recommendation of the day. There's a new song that I found today, which I kind of liked. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Um, it's called I Don't Love You Anymore by P-U-H-F. I don't resonate with um, the title of that. Nor is the song what you think. It's like a electrical song. I don't remember like the thing, but you know it's like um, like electronic song. You know, so there's no like words, nothing. I just liked it. So, am I done? Yeah. Peace.